hi everybody i hope everybody's doing well and staying safe today so um i have some yarn that i want to show you and i'm very excited to to show you um i'm very excited to look at it i haven't opened it yet uh this actually came from a uh, etsy seller it's hand spun uh yarn hand hand spun hand dyed from this person's uh farm um so i'm very very excited so the etsy shop is called sheep muse sheep m-u-s-e so uh i will put a link to her shop in the description box um her name is amy and i did have a little bit of customer service with her she um told me apologized that one of the callers that <coughs> excuse me i had purchased was sold out that she might have sold it at a craft had they had sold out at a craft fair or something like that but um i did not care she said i could you know if i wanted to a different color or she would refund my money and she was very um apologetic that's i told her that was just fine she could just send any other color that she had and i would be i would be fine with that so um she it's uh let's see in idaho i want to tell you just a little bit about her shop and that she hand spins. I'm excited. I don't know I'm excited about the hand spun. Okay, it says that it's 100% merino, hand spun, hand dyed on our small sheep farm in Idaho. Made from the softest wool of our very happy, very loved sheep. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, she had me right there. I'm like, that's, that's so cool. Um, and then she just goes on to say, tell how it was created and everything like that. So you can always look in that. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I'm excited to see it. I do not have tutorial for this hat. I made this hat on my knitting machine. Actually, my husband made it for me. Um, I don't know if you watched my last unboxing of ice yarns and I said that I was going to use that sparkly yarn to make a hat. My husband made me one. I like it. It kind of looks like it's been frosted you know what i mean doesn't it it's brown and different colors of brown striped if you can see it but it looks like it's like has a morning frost on it it's super blingy in the sun that's what i like <laughs> okay here we go i'm super excited oh and the shipping was very fast too um she shipped three day priority she shipped it the next day that i ordered it and it got here so really fast how exciting, huh? Oh, and she did ask me, she, when she emailed me and told me about the yarn that, that was out of stock, if I wanted her to cake it as well. So that was something that she did. Some people charge for caking. I, I guess she was didn't do it for free, but I said no, that I like my yarn to be left in hanks. I do prefer my yarn to be left in hanks until I'm ready to use them. All right. Ooh, says thank you for your order. I would love to see what you make with these. Amy. Oh, look. So cute. I love it. Okay. There's her. Her uh it's it's a small Etsy shop. Like I said, I'll put a link below. Very nicely packed here in tissue paper. Oh I can't wait to look at it. This is a big reveal. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Wow, that is... Oh, that's some pretty stuff. Oh, let's see. So, let's look at it. Here's our tag. Sheep Muse, 100% merino, hand-dyed, hand-plied. Two ply yarn, approximately four ounces or 260 yards. The color I have here is called cinnamon. So, smells fine. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, it is, um, I would, uh, it's scarfable. You know, if you're new to my channel, that means I would wear it as a scarf. Um, it's not. It's not rough by any means, but it's not like uh, like like a super like a super wash merino 
that I see sometimes from hand dyers. Um, this one's hand spun, but it's not rougher. I mean, it's just in between. Like I said, it's scarfable. I'd wear a scarf out of it or a sweater out of it. That wouldn't bother me. But it's so beautiful. Look at that. I love it. So I really couldn't believe the price on these. Um, some people might think it's a lot, but I don't. If you look at the price of hand hand spun yarn, um, some of it is is rather expensive, and it, you know it should be. It takes a lot. Of, um, you know, I'm sure it takes time to do that and stuff. This, but this is hand spun and hand dyed on her farm, and she only has 19.99 hank, and I thought that was exceptionally a good price, um, like in comparison to some that I saw. This is beautiful. I love this one. Mm. And that's for, and it is a four weight yarn. I don't know what she said. DK, DK. DK, DK, DK. So a DK is a lightweight three. DK light worsted. Yep, yeah, that's in between a three and a four. Perfect. It's perfect. That is beautiful. I love it. I do. I am super stoked. That one is so pretty. Oh, look at this one. Mint and chip. Very, very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very nicely spun. Very nicely dyed. It's just, it's... I like it a lot. I do. I love, I just love the story that she had, you know, from her happy sheep and everything. And I just liked it all. I liked it all. That's beautiful. That's beautiful yarn. I mean, it looks really evenly spun. Truthfully, it looks really good. Is it grazing that? Oh, that one's pretty. These are all the same price, I do believe, except for one was a different price. All the same amount of yards, 260 yards, um, in between a three and a four weight. Um, all $19.99. This one is called denim well that is an appropriate name that is beautiful 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 that's nice remember it is a little bit rougher but it's not not rough it's not like so rough that i wouldn't and i'd wear i would definitely wear a scarf out of it so that is so pretty nicely done if you're watching amy thank you I don't know. I don't know her, but I'm just calling her Amy because that's how she signed her name. Okay, next one we got here is called Coral Reef. I think that's an appropriate name too. I always like it when they name them appropriate with the color. Beautiful, beautiful. I like that one a lot. That is so pretty. Wow, excellent work on that. The spinning is that she did. I mean, it's like. It's, you really can't see too many inconsistencies in it. It looks very well spun. Nice job on that one. Nice job on that. I have another blue here. This one is called Blues and Purples with Teal. Blues and Purples with Teal. Well, that's what it is. Beautiful. Look, it's the teal in it. It's very, very light. You can see it right there. That's beautiful. Hmm. Pretty, pretty stuff, isn't it? I just got a couple more here. This one is called Shades of Pink. Beautiful. So it's solid color. Well, it's, I guess it's not. It's got different shades of pink. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense on the name, wouldn't it? <laughs> I see it now. At first, I didn't see it, but yeah, I see it now. Definitely in the camera, I see it. That's beautiful. That's pretty stuff, isn't it? Okay. And then I have this one, which is fuchsia. Very, uh, very pretty. Oh, I'm going to work some of these up on my knitting machine and make myself some hats because that's all I know how to make on my knitting machine. <laughs> hats and scarves. I could crochet them up as well. Uh, maybe I'll crochet a hat. Maybe I'll do that. Beautiful. Okay. I have one more here. This one was, is a little bit different. This one is hand spun, but dyed naturally using marigolds. 
Apsocious, this was, um, oh, this was naturally dyed. That is pretty. Naturally dyed with orange marigolds. But everything else on it, I believe, is the same. Yep, 260 yards between a three and a four weight. Um, but this one was $18.99 as opposed to $19.99. That is beautiful. See if it smells like marigold. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it smells, they all smell the same. Like That is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was so cool that she had that one. I should have got two of these, but I didn't. One's enough, though. Isn't that so beautiful? I love it all a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, and I got this. I did not order this, but I guess she threw it in. Wood buttons. Oh, those are so pretty. Look at that. Some handmade buttons. Got Those are really pretty. That look good on like a really rustic looking sweater, you know? Oh, they're made out of different woods, I think. You can tell. Oh, I got another one. Okay, those are, see the red, see the different woods? You can see them on the outside. And these are more. Those are nice. Thank you. Those are so pretty. I, I didn't order these. These are just in the box. Very beautiful buttons. Yeah, those would look nice on a sweater. Very nice. So that is what I got from the yarn shop, Sheep Muse. Sheep Muse on Etsy. I would very recommend this hand dyeing. Um, uh, this shop that hand dyes, or hand spins and hand dyes. I looked at a lot, a lot of people who hand spun their own yarn on Etsy. Um, I actually uh, decided on two. Um, but this was the first one that I decided on. I I think her prices were very, very generous. Um, I love the story of how it comes from her farm. And she she offered the natural dyeing. I thought that was cool. And then the marigolds. Um, she hand spun and hand dyed. Some of the hand dyers didn't dye. Or some of the hand spinners didn't dye their own yarn. Some of them did. Some of them didn't. Um, I like the fact that she did both herself. And... She was super nice when I, you know, during customer, when she, customer service was telling me she, you know, how apologetic she was. Great, great experience I had with this. So, yes, I love it all. I think if I had to choose a favorite, it would be very hard because they're all very beautiful. But <clears throat> I love that Marigold one. I do. I love that one a lot that it's dyed with Marigolds. That's really cool. I tried to naturally dye one time and I really stunk at it. So, I <laughs> can't imagine. Um, but if I had to choose a favorite, I think it's, I'm going to stick with the one that I thought was going to be my favorite the whole time. That is this one right here. I love this one. Cinnamon. I love them all. Don't get me wrong. They're all very, very beautiful. I like this one a lot. I do. Which one was your guys' favorite? This one is very beautiful. They're all very, very pretty, pretty. Hand dyed, hand spun, yarns. From her happy sheep on her happy farm. Beautiful. Now that one's really cool. It is really cool. I love them all. I love them all. Beautiful. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I, you know, I couldn't wait to open these. You know, I have that segment. Um, um, I do small shop on Saturday and I show a small yarn shop. I couldn't wait on this one. I couldn't. I had to do it early. I'm sorry. I hope it's okay. But I still have another one for next Saturday, uh, yarn dyer, um, on Etsy, but <clears throat> not a hand spinner, just a dyer. Oh, and then I have one coming that someone makes their own crochet hooks. Whew, are those pretty? But they're custom, so you have to wait on those. They're not here yet. And some other ones coming. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Um, very, very nice shop. I'm going to give her five stars on each hank of yarn that i received and five stars on her customer service and five stars overall on her shop on everything i love it she did wonderful so i remember i'll put the link below um in her up uh, to her shop in the description box head on over there and check her out see what she has she even has a little picture of her of her sheep there oh adorbs <laughs> thanks everybody for watching bye guys